Do your app users need a bit more help getting around in the real world? Like picking up an order from a store, managing their commute, or finding places to park, eat, or drink? Would you like to help them with these tasks without them needing to leave your app? Well, now you can provide guided navigation right within your app based on the familiar and trusted Google Maps navigation experience. Previously, if your app directed users to places in the real world like stores, attractions, or business locations, they would then have to open a separate app for turn-by-turn -turn navigation. This may have led to them getting distracted or not returning to your app, losing their attention, or even losing them as a user altogether. You certainly couldn't get any updates on when they had arrived or how long it would take them. With Google Maps Platform Navigation SDK for Android and iOS, your users no longer need to leave your app to get Google Maps turn-by-turn -turn guidance to wherever you direct them next. The Navigation SDK brings the well-known and trusted Google Maps navigation experience right into your app. With the Navigation SDK, there are so many ways you can customize the navigation experience. From colors and fonts, to adding speed alerts and trip progress, you have the flexibility to customize the look and feel to match your app's branding, creating a seamless and consistent experience for your users. Okay, let's get you on the fastest route to integrating the Navigation SDK into your app. Getting set up is easy and straightforward. Head over to the Google console and search for Navigation SDK. Check you have billing configured for your project, then enable the API. Next, you need to set up your development environment. Android developers can fetch the binaries from the Google Maven repository. Configure your app level build file to bring in the Navigation SDK. iOS developers can use Swift Package Manager to pull in the library or use CocoaPods to add it to an Xcode project. Once you have the SDK installed, you will need to configure an API key, initialize the Navigation SDK, and then set a destination. You can do this using either a lat long or a place ID. Let's take a look at some of the key concepts in the Navigation SDK for customizing the UI, controlling routing behavior, and handling SDK events. This example app shows how the UI colors and fonts have been customized as well as showing the addition of a trip progress bar and a speedometer. As you can see, the speedometer can show speeding alerts. SDK events can trigger useful in-app features based on updates to ongoing trips, such as speeding, imminent arrival, or significant ETA or route changes. You can also add your own UI elements that react to these events. These events can be used to inform the driver, for example, if they are speeding, or to trigger an update to a back-end system, perhaps to send a notification to prepare an order for an app user to collect, or to inform a customer that their technician or delivery is running late. To create routes for different modes of travel, you can use the Routing Options class for Android or the GMS Routing Options class for iOS to set a travel mode of cycling, walking, driving, or two-wheeler in your app and the Waypoint class for Android and the GMS Navigation Waypoint class for iOS allow you to customize routing behavior, such as enforcing arrival on the same side of the road as the destination. Well, that was an easy journey, wasn't it? The new Navigation SDK is available to all developers right now, and it brings the trusted and familiar Google Maps navigation experience right into your app, where you can control and customize it for your users. Getting started is super easy. We provide libraries for Android and iOS to help you easily integrate navigation into your existing app. There are fully featured sample apps on GitHub for you to play with. Just clone the repo, add your API key, and off you go. There are libraries for React and Flutter integration too. Find these at GitHub, npm, and pub.dev. See the developer documentation for more detail. In fact, all the info you need is in the developer documentation. You can start your own Navigation SDK journey right now. Download the sample apps from GitHub to play with all the SDK's features. For a quick start with the SDK in a basic app, try one of our code labs for 
iOS and Android, or just head over to the developer documentation to find all the details and best practices on how to integrate and customize Google Navigation inside your own app. Thanks for watching. <laughs>